for Andres. Yay! Hi. Um, AR on the way. Uh, <laughs> using WebAssembly. Uh, it's a very long, very long title. Uh, and you might have questions about AR art. Uh, And you probably have questions about the whole title. So the beginning of this is just going to be me going through it. Uh, every single word. <laughs> um, AR uh, is augmented reality. And the, for this project, uh, which we'll get to in a second, um, it was all rendered with WebGL. This is a website. And it's using JavaScript. Um, using 3JS, uh, the AR comes from ARKit. And this other ridiculously long title project. Uh, web AR on AR kit. Uh, and we'll get on, we'll, we'll talk about what that is too. Um, art. Uh, I'm not going to define art in 10 minutes, uh, but I consider this to be my art, so that's that. Uh, it's on the web, uh, because I love the web, and I like making websites, and I like using JavaScript, sort of. Uh, the sort of part is where Watson comes in. Um, so. There's, some, there's a lot of JavaScript, but there's a little bit of Rust, uh, and that Rust gets compiled to something that JavaScript can use uh, via WebAssembly. Um, yeah, so that's, that's all the words. Uh, the, the, this whole thing is working off of work that's done by the, web, the Immersive Web Community Group, and they do stuff like to find the WebXR API. Um, so it used to be known as the WebVR API, uh, which in VR headsets are things that you put on your face and they're kind of they're kind of weird. Uh, now we have Web XR because you can do AR on your phone. Uh, you can do AR with magical things like the Magic Leap, um, and in the future you can do all of this stuff with devices we haven't even invented yet. So that's what the Web XR API is for. That's for getting your website to understand uh, to understand what what's going on uh, outside of the 2D context. Um, so actually, uh, this work is really unstable. Um, sorry. Uh, it's really unstable, but you can play around with it using implementations that have been built uh, by Mozilla and Google. So I, I've been using uh, Google's implementation for this. Uh, and then WebAssembly. Uh, if you don't know what that is, uh, basically it allows you to compile C, C++, or Rust, uh, and eventually other languages like Go, um, to something that the web can use, uh, and it makes things run really fast. So I was looking at this video from Dan Shipman making a little particle system, uh, and I was inspired. So I recreated it in 3.js, uh, and that was really, really, really fun. And then I, over the summer, I started experimenting with all sorts of uh, 3 AR brushes. So all of this uh, uses uh, Web AR on AR Kit, which is that project from Google that I was talking about. Um, so you can see here that there are different colors and textures and sizes. And the sizes are actually coming from how fast, how quickly I move the brush. Um, and so that's fun. And then I was like, OK, cool. I built this part of the system. And I built these brushes. Let's put them together. So this is that. Um, Every time I draw, it spawns the particles, and then they sort of slowly fade away, and then eventually they disappear. Um, and I was like, OK, I need more buzzwords, so I'm going <laughs> to add some rest. Uh, on the left, uh, you see some really, really simple uh, add, subtract, multiply, rest definitions. And on the right is a little bit of JavaScript that uh, the parcel bundler or webpack can understand. And I throw that in, and all of a sudden, uh, I can do, instead of doing the stuff on the top, which updates the positions in real time using, or in, in place using JavaScript, um, I use the slightly more verbose syntax at the bottom, and on the other side, it looks exactly the same. Um, so this is interesting because it means that I can replace it with a faster implementation. Um, so yeah, this is the before gift and this is the after gift. Uh, they're doing exactly the same thing, but they're, the one on the right uh, could theoretically scale to millions or trillions of particles, which, is, which would, be, would be useful for doing things like uh, smoke or sand simulations. Um, yeah, and uh, effectively I think that 
combining all this stuff while it's still uh, really experimental and really, uh, really early days. Um, it was a fun little project, and I would encourage you to uh, check out the Web Immersive, uh, immersive Web Working Group uh, and Rust and WebAssembly if you haven't. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Freaking out. That's chill. <laughs> it's probably because of their dogs. 